Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to try to go over how to set up Luxor with Unreal Engine for real-time motion capture. To get started, first let's go to GitHub and visit real-time mocap for UE4. Once you're here, just select code, download zip, and then download that to, say, your desktop. Create a new folder. And save the zip to that folder. Once the zip is finished downloading, you can then extract it. Click on the folder. Select this path. Start Unreal. Click More, select Browse, paste the path into the address bar, select the U project file, and this will load the example project. So from here, the only thing left to do is click on the scene. You'll see there's a pre-setup scene here. Next start the motion capture tool. So starting Luxor, and you'll notice that this is the default avatar, which is not compatible with the SK mannequin. So do not use this with this. But what you'll notice is that in the downloaded folder, there's this VR mocap assets folder. That contains the SK mannequin mocap avatar for Luxor. So to add this to Luxor, first click on the VR menu, select the Avatars tab. Down here at the bottom, you'll see this open folder, which just opens the VR mocap assets folder, and then just copy that into there. I already have, so, so as you can see, I already, I already have copied that in. So once that's done, you can close these folders and press refresh, and you should see the asset now, the SK mannequin available. Just activate that. Um, so next thing is uh, to start the game. So making sure that uh, the avatar is loaded and that you have the real-time mocap scene loaded, you can then just press play. And you'll notice immediately that this avatar is now in the same T-pose as is in Luxor. So give me one second and let me go ahead and put on some trackers. Okay, so now that I have all of my trackers set up, let me go ahead and do a quick T-pose. There we go. Doing motion capture in Unreal. Thank you. 